Here are 10 ways smartphones could be making your life more challenging. Number one, smartphones contribute to sleep issues. Being exposed to blue and white light given off by phones, laptops, and other electronic devices at night prevent the brain from releasing melatonin, a hormone that tells the body it's time to go to sleep. Social media content can also create such a distraction that you can't go to sleep. Number two, smartphones can take a toll on friendships. Yes, smartphones can damage our relationships with friends. The dopamine hits we receive every time we get a push notification may be to blame. So much so that many of us have convinced ourselves that our push notifications are more important than maintaining a focused conversation with a friend standing right next to us. Number three, smartphones can have a negative influence on parenting. Children feel loved when they feel attention from their parents. Lack of attention can make a child feel emotionally neglected. Even worse is when parents are physically present, but their attention is missing. Kids can receive the message that they are not as important a part of their parents' lives, at least not as important as a parent's contacts or social media connections. Number four. Smartphones can replace in-person communications. There are people choosing to have in-depth discussions and disagreements via messaging instead of in-person. These phone-only communications can range from putting an end to relationships to having heated arguments. Not the healthiest choice when important discussions really should be done in person. Number five. People expect us to be online and connected to our phones all the time. In the smartphone era, people often expect you to be connected 24-7 and to get back to them instantaneously through email or social media. However, this is not realistic and can cause problems when one party has the 24-7 I'm always available mindset and the other does not. Making things even worse, social media platforms are designed to encourage more constant digital interaction time. Number six, some people base their self-worth on social media likes. There are those people who tend to compare themselves to others on social media platforms. It's possible to base your self-worth on the opinion of strangers. Basing self-worth on social media likes is certainly not a very healthy standard to derive your personal worth. Number seven, smartphones can encourage fear of missing out. Making comparisons to oneself to others is not new. Certainly, the emotional effects have been magnified with all the social media outlets available today. It can be hard not to compare our lives to other lives viewed online. Social media is full of exaggerated and embellished representations of the good life. Number 8. Reading on a smartphone is worse for learning and comprehension. You can't believe everything you hear or read on social media. A healthy practice is to limit digital exposure you are exposed to on your smartphone. If you do this, you can limit the negative effects of overexposure to negative messages and news found on social media platforms. Number 9. We are forgetting how to date and make friends in real life. Some studies have shown that we're actually spending less time in each other's presence because online connectivity has convinced us that we already have socialized. This form of interaction certainly can cripple our ability to build meaningful person-to-person -person relationships. Number 10. Smartphones may not be good for our mental health. Increased smartphone use may lead to depression. The human need for social connection is well established, as are the benefits that people derive from such connections. 
moving away from personal connections in favor of social isolation, encouraged by our current technologies, opens a door to mentally harmful results, such as depression. If you find yourself identifying with any of these 10 items, then there is an effective treatment that can greatly help. Simply put away your smartphone or other media devices as much as possible. Distancing yourself from your social media devices works. To learn more, please contact us at the Institute for Addiction Study. Our link is in the description. 